Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we got some pretty great news. As a story comes out, the Bank of Brazil becomes the first state-backed bank to allow customers exposure to a crypto ETF. This is hot on the heels of the listing for Coinbase uh, for their IPO or direct listing. And the real question is, is the United States not far away from also issuing their first crypto ETF or Bitcoin Ethereum ETF? On top of that, we'll take a look at a nice little piece that talks about Binance destroys 595 million worth of BNB tokens in its quarterly burn, which is one of the biggest ones they've ever done. We'll take a look at Ethereum, the London hard fork that is coming up in July. On top of some great stories for Avalanche, the smart contracts platform. And we'll take a little bit deep into that and see what's going on. But first, let's take a look what's going on into the market. So today it is April 17th. It is uh, 10 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. Awful day here. Cold, disturbing, really gross. Not a big fan of uh, cold weather. Need to get to Puerto Rico as fast as I possibly can. But I will tell you this, uh, the market still is hot. We're at $2.2 trillion. So maintaining, I like to see that. Daily sentiment still a little bit bearish because it's a little bit uh, uh, wonky in the markets. Uh, even Dogecoin took a hit today. But uh, just so you know, hottest on Twitter, uh, Ethereum Classic has been breaking out. Nano, Sia Coin, Doge, of course. Verge. B chain, Neo, and Digibyte. Digibyte, Digibyte is up pretty great. If you watch uh, Digital Dave over there, Crazy of Cryptos, he's been preaching the word about Digibyte for as long as I've watched him. And uh, today, I think, is one of those great days uh, that uh, he gets to celebrate because I think uh, Digibyte is doing pretty good stuff. So, real quick on the coins, Bitcoin's around 60,000. Ethereum's, you know, roughly, well, a little bit of a dip, 2364. And uh, let's see anything up massively. VeChain up massively. Uh, VeChain doing great things. I own VeChain. I love it. Uh, and uh, just so you know, I'm super biased in this channel. <laughs> Everything that I own, I talk about. That's pretty much how it is. And I skip the rest, uh, except for Avalanche. I don't own that yet. Let's see, Tron's up. Eh, not, nothing too great. Let's take a look at, uh, as far as the projected range. That's what's great about Trade the Chain, sentiment analysis. We're going to click on this. And it's going to give us to see what our inner trader could actually make a profit. Very tight margins today. Uh, plus 0.65 for Pirate Chain, <laughs> which were, and the uh, the uh, ticker name is R, which is pretty funny. Uh, I like that one. Uh, it's, it's a good one. I exec RLC, Wacky Chain, Celsius, Numera, and NEM are something to look at if you're a trader. But again, the uh, margins are pretty tight. And this middle number here is 90% accuracy. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Anyhow, let's break into today's top story. That's what I really want to talk about. So Bank of Brazil, first state backed bank crypto ETF. What's going on here? Well, there was, it was initially set for around April 22nd. And uh, then they said, no, we're going to, you know, push it back. And then people were all worried about it because they said, oh, well, they're going to push it back. It's going to stop. But no, just four days later. That's amazing for Brazil. And I remember reading articles about how Brazil was being very heavy handed as far as cryptocurrency goes and different problems with it, but it doesn't look like it's uh, affecting it too much. So according to a letter sent by Hashdex to its clients, the state backed banking institution will be able to offer its customers the possibility of buying the crypto ETF of Hashdex. Bank of Brazil's customers could have exposure by investing in the fund, which will replicate the NASDAQ crypto index, NCI. The new date of the ETF debut is said to take place on April 26, uh, pushed back from April 22nd. Bank institution becomes the first bank in the world to offer such kind of exposure. This is the things that I'm always talking about on this channel. It's not so much about like one big story. I mean, there's always like one big story sometimes, right? PayPal coming out and saying, hey, we're going to offer these four crypto assets. Uh, Elon Musk saying, hey, we're going to accept Bitcoin. We're going to put 1.5 billion of Bitcoin on our on our uh, sheets and in our treasury. And, you know, like something like this, this is the first state uh, backed bank to actually do it. So I just see like all these things that are happening around us. It just kind of... Um, gets into the public consciousness and just they start to realize that, hey, cryptocurrencies and digital assets are here to stay. Because remember, not everybody's like you and me. Not everybody just gets it. I mean, talk to anybody. They're like, we don't understand it. So banks are going to change. The financial institutions are going to change. There are so many things. There is a, I hate to use the word revolution, but really it is. I mean, it's like there's a big uprooting and revolution really happening. And uh, the people that don't understand about the upcoming technology, the ones that are going to get left behind, they're going to get blockbuster. So the Hashdeck Crypto Index, Hash11, is composed of crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Chainlink, 
Bitcoin Cash and Stellar. Interesting. So to me, like when I see something like this, and that's really, really the whole story. I always think to myself, I'm like, who cares? Who needs an ETF? Who needs these indexes? And again, it's just people who really are into the traditional finance sector, which is where all the money's at, traditional finance. I mean, you've got just in derivatives, you got uh, uh, 500 trillion sloshing around. And uh, so these people that like really want to get into it, but they really can't because of regulatory issues or safety issues. And who's going to put, you know, 20 million of their net worth onto a nano ledger? It just doesn't make any sense. So these types of things, they can get exposure to it and they can bring the money in. So I'm happy about this. And this is just one more step, I think, until uh, here in America, we get an ETF. Canada's already got it going on. Brazil's already got it going on. I'm sure there's other countries, and of course, we're being left behind. And I always talk about it. That's what I think is happening. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece. So Binance coin, one of the hottest coins out there uh, besides Doge for, you know, whatever reason, <sighs> Doge uh, is burning 595 million worth of BNB tokens at the largest one. So Binance announced Friday, it's burned over a, oh my God, over a million BNB tokens worth about 595 million. Uh, to date, that's 15.3% of its total supply. And then about 35% of tokens are yet to be burned in the coming quarter and years, 35%. And Binance burns BNB token each quarter. So this is a very fast article, but it's just something I wanna to talk to you and just say like, if you think you missed the boat on Binance coin, you probably didn't. And this is not financial advice. I don't own BNB token. And I know people say, well, Rob, you can get it here, you can get it there. I can't get it on Binance US because I'm in Texas, but I know there's other places I can get it. I just, I haven't gotten into it, right? I've got like 40 different coins right now. I'm kind of saturated. I've got my positions and I probably won't get into it. I know people say, you should really get into it. You should get into it. Look, man, I can't get in everything. That's just how it is. I've only got so many, so much funds coming around. I, my bank account, I am broke. I am fiat broke, but I am crypto heavy. And that's just how it is. So uh, BNB token, if you think you missed it, uh, this is going to be a juggernaut for years and years to come. And um Look, even, even CZ Binance has said, like, he talks about decentralized exchanges and he goes, they're going to eat into our business, but we're prepared for that. And we have our own contingency plans. I think that this guy has been uh, in front of a lot of different things. I mean, globally looking at it, it could be great. Uh, it is great already. So I think if, uh, if you want to get a BNB token, probably these are some of the times, but not financial advice. <laughs> Uh, that was awful. That was even that was even worse than I've ever done before. Look, do your own research. Just remember that I'm just one person out there that just talks about it and never listen to any one person. Do a lot, of, find a lot of different places uh, that uh, actually give information and do your own research so you can find the right stuff for you and what's best for you and your family. Let me just think in the comment section, but that's what's going on for BNB token. All right, and then moving forward, just so you know, uh, there's three big events coming up for Ethereum. 26th of April, G GV liquidity. 29th of April, GV funds on Ethereum. And the 31st of July, London Hartford. So what are these things? Well, first of all, uh, the reason why I talk about these things is because what I feel moves the market is news. News moves the market so much, which is why I'm always recommending Trade the Chain because they have a direct API into Twitter, which is where I get a lot of my information from because it's the fastest way to get it. On top of that, it uh, scours the whole internet, the blog posts for the different exchanges, and uh, this is where I find a lot of good information. So Genesis, this, uh, what is it called? Genesis Vision uh, is a cross-market financial platform successfully connecting crypto, Forex, and stock markets. And this is where the liquidity, liquidity is going to come from as far as Ethereum. So again, I'm just telling you right now, all these different old-time exchanges, not exchanges, but uh, financial institutions and what they're used to that have been built for, you know, hundreds of years. I mean, stocks, bonds, gold and silver. Look, I own gold and silver, but how you trade those things, those are going to be a relic of the past. And we're going to have something like this. So this is just one example. When we get into avalanche, I'll even show you even further. So these two things are going to happen. So maybe around that time, you might want to take a little uh, hard look into Ethereum. Also, the London hard fork is coming up. And uh, just so you know, this is, um, I'll just skip all the, the big stuff, but let me blow this up so you can see it. Oh, 
So basically, this is what it is. What it's going to really come down to is that they're going to regulate the miners and go, look, we know that these uh, gas fees are just crazy out of control. So we're going to try to regulate and we're going to rein everything in. And this is what EIP 5059. And they're saying like, look, the proposal has been accepted to be included in the London Hard Fork, which is expected to come this July, regardless of miners' stances on it. So yeah, I mean, when you have something like that, where it's like, hey, we don't, we, we relish the uh, the input that you're giving, but who cares? And we're just going to move forward. So I'm sure it's a little bit more complex than that. But uh, in, in reality, what they're trying to do is just rein all these different fees in and just move forward because that is one of the biggest stumbling blocks for Ethereum right now. Can they fix it? Sure, why not? I mean, look, it's, uh, it's like the first inning of what's going on. So we'll see how that goes. So that these are things that are happening right now. So you're looking at 26th April, 29th April, 31st of July. So look for those dates for to see what would happen in the market as far as Ethereum goes. And speaking of uh, smart contracts, here's one called Avalanche. And Avalanche, I've been hearing a lot about it and how great it is. And again, I got so many tokens. I'm like, ah, sure, whatever, another smart contract platform. But again, thing thing with this is that there's not gonna be one winner. There, there's not going to be one winner in the financial institution game, right? We don't go to one place to buy all of our stocks. We don't go to uh, one place to get all our groceries. We don't go to one place to get all our electronics. It's There's a, enough room for everybody. Not everybody. There's an, enough room for uh, multiple entries. So I don't know which one's going to be great. I don't know which one's going to be good. But uh, right now, I have my money uh, in Ethereum and Cardano. And uh, this might be another uh, entry into the mix. It's got to do a little bit more research. So just so you know, when you take a look at what's going on, these guys got a lot of things happening. Uh, you've got in incubator program, finance integration, block debt migration, Orion integration. This is a, Orion is a decentralized exchange which uses multiple platforms. So you can trade them amongst a ton of different DEXs and, and centralized exchanges and kind of bring everything together for the lowest fees. That is something that uh, we should really take a look at because that sounds awesome, especially if you can get uh, zero fees. Speaking of which, there's another one called Zero, zero Dex, which is, a, they're doing uh, limited uh, fees for exchanges. I don't know much about that. I just heard Alex talk, uh, Masculi talk about it, so I'm not even gonna say much about it. That's all I know. And then more things going on. So again, real quick, um, if you're looking for all these dates and what's going on, this is from a website called Coin Market Cal, and I had uh, been listening to a bunch of different YouTubers. Uh, Jr. Journey Crypto, Jrny Crypto. He's about as uh, straight straight laced as I am, honestly. But he delves a little bit more into uh, you know these lower cap gems. And then uh, so he, it was I, I saw it in his videos first, and then I saw one on Alex Becker, and I was like, I got to use that sometime. So Coin American Cal is great because when you take a look at it, you can just see like this little roll right here. This is where all the number of upcoming events are happening, which is pretty awesome. So you can just like click on a Bitcoin and see what the uh, upcoming event is. And again, if it's big, then uh, you know it'll have this little crown here as far as like the significance of it. So Ethereum. That was a, they read that as a 50, the Binance coin, the burns and all those things, that's about a hundred and then so on and so forth. So when you look at like what projects are hot, look at the ones where they have a lot of upcoming events. Polkadot's got seven big events coming up. Well, 31, pretty good. Uh, Theta has 10 events coming up. So take a look at that. And then uh, what else? There was one else that, that caught me, which was Avalanche. It's got 10 events. That's why I'm talking about it today. I'm like, hmm, they got a lot of things going on. So I had to take a real quick look. This is not a deep dive, uh, but Avalanche, this video right here kind of just sums it up. And I'll link this in the description. This is from their official website. And they're bringing everything together. At least they're trying to. Uh, insurance contracts, Ethereum or different blockchains, collectibles, lending, Bitcoin, income and sharing agreements. They also talked about um, securities, stocks, uh, they always talk about, <laughs> I think they even talked about, uh, precious metals, uh, just to bring everything together in one centralized place. And it talked about how the market has like $800 trillion sloshing around in these segmented markets. They're very ambitious trying to bring everything together. So is Cardano and so, so are them. So we'll see what happens, but I like this one. First of all, transaction TPS, it's pretty good. You got Bitcoin at seven, Ethereum at 14, E. Tendermint, I don't know what that is, 1,000, Avalanche, 4,500, and then some some basic other information that they have uh, over this one. But 
when we take a look at uh, the price, because what I'm looking for personally as just an investor is something that hasn't already spiked. Like I would never get into Dogecoin at 40, whatever, six cents, whatever. That's crazy. And I think some people are kicking themselves. I think it's down to like 32 cents now. And it might drop even more. But when I look at this, I'm going back. Let's just, I mean, we go back to 10th of February. And we can even go back even farther. Let's just do this. So yeah, so it was back in the beginning of the year. You're looking at 12, 12 bucks. Boy, I wish we would have got it there, right? And then it went all the way up. Probably a launch, mainnet launch or something. $57. 10th of February, but it's been pretty flat down here in the 20s. Then it went all the way up to 37, then it dropped down to 27. And now we're kind of going sideways with a little uptick, 39, then we're down to like 36. So if I'm looking at something to invest in, I'm looking at, first of all, I always try to invest in the people as much as I can. I took a look at their team real quick. Looks pretty solid. They got a lot of different financial backers. Then they've got this price action where it hasn't gone all the way to, up to the moon already. And uh, they've got a lot of things coming up. So I will not invest yet, but it is on my radar right now. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm just talking about the things that I know of so you can do your own research and go from there. And that is it for today. So look, uh, if you made this far, I want to say thanks for sticking with me. A lot of things going on in the market. Great time to be in there, I, in my opinion. If you liked the video and got value from it, hit the thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about. Time sensitive. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.